In this video, you will learn how to subset columns in Pandas data frame. That is how you can select a single or multiple columns and save the result in a new object. Let's import Pandas as PD. I'm going to read a CSV file and save in this variable df. From PD, I will call read underscore CSV and inside this I will pass my CSV file name titanic.csv and let us look at the head of our data frame df.head so this is a titanic data set which you might have already seen and we are going to perform the column subsetting on this data frame if we look at the shape of this data frame so we see that there are total 891 rows and 12 columns now let's see how to get the values of any column so here you see we have different columns now you want to get the you just want to get one single column here let's say p class so how you can do that so you have to call this data frame which is df so you see here we have saved the result here in df and then that column name in bracket so and inside that you also have to write the quotes it could be single quotes or double quotes so i'll write here quotes and then p class and let us execute the code so here in the output you will see we can see this variable p class here so whenever you want to see just one column you have to call the data frame name then you have to give us this bracket and inside this you have to pass the column names so here you will see you will get all the results and it will display top five and then some of the few results here you will see and you can also call method the other method on this so let's say if i just want to see the top five rows of this date of this variable then i will call the method head and here you will see in the output i got the top five rows so this is zero one two three and four the indexing starts with zero and let's say if I want to see the bottom five rows, then I will use the method tell. So instead of head, I will say right here tail. And here you will see these are the bottom five rows. You can see the index number 886, 887, 888, 889 and 890. Now let's say you want to save the result of this variable. So I'll remove this and we have this results here. And now you want to save the result in a new variable. So you can just assign it so let's say i'll make one variable a and then i will assign this subsetting column here and then if i print a so you will see in a i get the same result so you can subset that column and even you can assign the result to a new object and now let's say you want to get multiple columns so you have to do the same thing df and then bracket and inside this let's say p class and now there is one difference here if you pass the second variable here uh, let's say we have many variables so we pass the second variable name and if you pass like this you will get an error so it says key error and key error p class and name so whenever you want to subset multiple columns you have to pass this in a list so i'll make one list here which is i'll have to put one more bracket and here the closing one now if i run this function i will get the result so here you will see in the output i got the results so you have to remember this if you want to subset one column then you will have to use this one bracket but if you want to subset more than one column then you have to pass this list inside this list here and let's say if you want to subset more than two columns so we will take this age column also and i'll write here as age here so here you will see in the output uh, we can see we got the results for p class name and age so whenever you want to subset more than one columns you will have to use these two brackets here and then you can also save this output in a new variable i'll copy this code from here and then I'll make one new object result and then I will paste it here and if I print result so you will see here in the output I got this data frame which has only this three variables p class name and age and I can call all the functions on this data frame so result dot head 
and this will give me the top five rows of this data frame you will see here these are the top five rows i can call result dot tail these are the bottom five rows yeah, and if I want to look at the columns, I can write here result dot columns. And these are the columns of this variable. So using subsetting, we can subset any columns, one single column, multiple columns. This is how subsetting works in pandas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.